Hey, what's uh, welcome back today? I'm going to show you how you can achieve images from this to this for long bone imaging going from a large field of view to a smaller field of view. Let's go. Thanks for tuning in on my channel. For those who are new, my name is Vakna again. I'm an MRI radiographer. And in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials, troubleshooting. So if you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So the reason for this video is people have been asking me if I could share some tips and tricks for long bone imaging. So I'm very happy to uh, create a video like this where I'll share some tips for you guys. So the things I'm going to share with you here today, it's not available in all software, especially in the older one. However, on the new one, it will be available. So just check out your software if it's available in your scanner. You know the deal. Without further ado, let's go to the scanner. All right, we are at the 1.5 Tesla, but uh, the things I'm going to show you here will be also be available on 3T as long as we have the options, uh, which I'm going to show you soon. So we're going to do some long bone imaging here. This is just a localizer. So I'm just going to tweak this sequence a little bit so I make it a little bit faster than three minutes just to show you guys. So you can see here that the field of view is 430. It covers, it covers us a lot. So I'm just hovering my mouse over the field of view read. And you can see there it says 430 millimeter. Just going to cut a little bit of slices here and save some scan time. So we're still at 430 and the acquired voxel is 0 0.84 times 0 0.84 5 millimeters. So we are at square voxel sizes and it's interpolated down to 0 0.42. So let's scan a one. I'm going to make another one here, which is a smaller field of view, very dedicated one. So I'm just Right, 200 millimeter there, 20 centimeter, very small field of view. But you can see that I lose a lot of signal. The relative SNR now is 0 0.22, but do not worry, you're going to do something about this later. So we are now acquiring 0 0.78 times 0 0.78 and 5 millimeters. So interpolate that to 0 0.39. So we are at square voxel sizes. But take a look at the field of view there, only 200 millimeter. So we're not covering much. So this is where I'm using the field of view face. So my face direction is head feet. So as long as it's head feet, I could do something about this. So what I'm doing now is that I'm going to stretch this one. It says 200 there. Let's try to add this a little bit up. And you can see here now it says 268. 0.8 millimeters so that's the real field of view even though it says only 200 there but the real one is almost 270 and the acquired matrix is now rectangular okay remember that but still the acquired voxel is still square as you can see this because we're not affecting any base resolution or face resolution so it only the field of view is rectangular so our resolution is still the same this is the good part by playing around with the field of view face. I'm just going to try to stretch this a little bit more. And now we are at almost 30 centimeters of the, of the field of view. Even though it says 200, but we are stretching the field of view face, so we're almost 30. Okay. Just going to position that one, and we're going to scan this one. Look at the relative as of now. We are now at 0 0.91, almost the same as we had, and the scan time is almost the same. But we are now very dedicated on one specific area. This is the two scans I did. You see one there is a big field of view where you can compare both sides, and the other one is very dedicated on the left side. So this is the thing you can do. You can play around with the field of view face. And one more thing is that at your scanner, if you want to know where the distortion kicks in. What you can do now is that you see in the corners where distortion kicks in. 
in the corners here in there so what you can do now is that you can do a measurements from this area and down to that area so within that distortion point and then you can see how much do this scan of yours handle before the distortion kicks in so here is around 30 centimeter and you can see distortion kicks in here Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. A few tips and tricks here and there. You know, one parameter affects this other parameters. So it's important to just bear in mind that whatever you do, if you want to have something, you have to give up with something. It's always a trade-off when it comes to MR. My question for you before we close up, are you using this face over sampling? If so, in what kind of regions? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and subscribe hit on the notification bell so we get a ding ding whenever new stuff from me are coming up so i see you in my next video thank you peace out